Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Tony, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to enable dark mode on the iPhone 10 entirely on device, so no computer is required to do this. So once all is said and done, your iPhone 10 can look something like this. So to make your device look like this, we're going to utilize a few tweaks, and most notably the tweak called Eclipse X, and many of you may recognize it as it was called Eclipse 4 for iOS 10 to 10.3.3, but now since it's been updated for iOS 11 and the iPhone 10 for that matter, it has been rebranded to Eclipse X, and it's currently still in beta. That is why for now it is a free download until it's finalized and released on Cydia once that is updated for iOS 11. Anyway, I will be showing you how to install Noctis XI as well and Simperium, which complement Eclipse really nicely to create a full-fledged dark mode on the iPhone 10. Anyway, to do this you're going to need a few things on your device before you begin. One, you're going to have to download the Electra Jailbreak as well as Filesa Jailed. I'll have the link to the official IPA files in the description, which will need to be installed with City impactor on the computer and although it's possible to install these applications directly on device through a third-party site I highly suggest to install the official IPA files as the third-party ones can be malicious and filled with tons of ads so aside from this step however once you have all the required applications on your device everything else in this tutorial will be done directly on your device so to start off, you're going to want to take a look at the description of this video for all the download links of all the tweaks I'm discussing. So first up, we're going to install the beta of Eclipse X, which will enable dark mode for most of your applications on the device. So the first two links, like I said, will be to the files, the jailed IPA, as well as the Electra Jailbreak official page for you to download those apps and to jailbreak your device. The third link, however, will be to the Eclipse X tweak. So we're going to go ahead and click on that right here and just make sure that you have this link opened up in Safari. Again, this is the official developer page of the Eclipse X tweak, and it is currently just a developer preview, it is just in beta, but if you want a copy of the official release once it comes out on Cydia, right now if you donate for a dollar, you will be sent one. Anyway, down at the very bottom, it says download the latest build right here, you're gonna to wanna to click on that right there. And then you're gonna click on open zip app free. And this is going to open the file in the zip app. The first thing it's going to prompt you is if you want to archive file type. And this is essentially just going to unzip the file or decompress it. You're going to want to click yes. And as you see, a second folder appears right here. So that is all we need to do in the zip app for now. Now we're going to want to navigate to files that jailed and open that guy up. So once this is open, we can click this little star icon in the very center on the bottom navigation bar. Navigate to apps manager. And then I'm just going to sort it by name and sort it by name once more. And then as you can see, the zip app free is at the very top. We're gonna to navigate into that, navigate into documents and navigate into imported files. And now we are in the same directory as we were within the zip app. Now we can navigate to the unzipped Eclipse X developer preview, navigate into that folder to bootstrap to library. And here are the files we really care about. Here is the actual tweak. So now that we're here, we're gonna to wanna to click the button in the bottom right to open up another window, click the plus icon, and then now navigate all the way back to the root of the file system. And here we can click on bootstrap and then library. And so this is the directory where we're going to install the tweaks. Now we can navigate back to the Eclipse X directory over here, click on XB inject, click edit, and then select both of these files and in the bottom left, click copy. Now that they're copied to the clipboard, we can go back into the directory where we're actually installing the tweaks, click on SB inject, and then in the bottom left again, click here and click paste. And now they're pasted into here. We're going to do this for the rest of the files as well. So navigating back into this directory, hitting back, going into preference loader, going into preferences, selecting edit, selecting that file, clicking copy, and then going back into here, clicking preferences loader, and then preferences, and then clicking paste. So there's that guy. Once more on the very last one, we're going to do preferences bundles, select that file and copy it, go back into this directory, and then go into here, and then go into preferences bundles again, and then click paste. So that is it. That is how you install Eclipse X entirely on device. 
So now that this is installed, all you need to do is respring to enable this tweak and or jailbreak for the first time. So now we're going to head into the Electro jailbreak and then we're going to click jailbreak and or if you need to respring, you're going to want to head into the Anemone app and then just reapply your theme and it will automatically respring for you. All right, so now when we enter various apps, you will see that a dark mode theme has been applied and this works for a lot of apps that are stock on iOS like the settings app. And this also works for your messages app as well and even like maps or something like calendars. So as you can see, a lot of apps have been tweaked and modified to include this dark mode theme. But as you can see on the home screen, not too much has changed. So to get more of a dark mode theme on the home screen, we're going to install Noctis XI. So again, I'm going to head into Evernote, which has all the links that I'm going to include in this video. I'm going to head over to the third one, which is Laughing Quoll's Patreon account. And if you guys contribute to his Patreon account for just $2, you'll get full access to all his tweaks that are currently in development, which are currently Noctis XI and Symperion for iOS 11. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in real fast. All right, so now that you've logged in and you've contributed to his Patreon account, if you click on continue reading under the iOS 11 tweaks, it'll have the links directly to the Noctis XI download as well as the Symperion download. So for the first one, I'm going to do Noctis XI. We're going to go ahead and click on his link to his Dropbox. If you have the Dropbox app, it's going to open it up like this. You're going to want to click on the top little buttons right here and click export. And then you're going to want to open in a different app. And then you're going to want to open up in zip app free again. And then here it says unsupported, but just click as a text file. And then we can just click back. And as you guys can see, this DYLIB file has been added right here. And that is all we need to install it. So now we're going to head back into files of jailed again. And once this app opens, we're going to do the same process. Click on the star, go to apps manager, sort by name, sort by name again, go to zip app free, go to documents, go to imported files. And then here is the Noctis XIDYLIB. We're just going to copy that for now. Then we're going to want to open up another window right down here. And then we're going to navigate to the root of the file system again. And click on bootstrap and click on library. And then we're going to go into the SB inject folder and then we're going to click paste. So that created that file right there. But one more we're going to need is the plist file. And if you guys see on his Patreon account for the plist, copy the anemone UI kit dot plist and then name it the same as the tweak Noctis XI or Symperion respectively. We're going to go back into files of jailed right here. We're just going to scroll down until we see Anemone UI kit right there. Just edit Anemone UI kit, copy, and then we're just going to paste it in the same folder right there. And then if you guys hold down on the pasted one, we can click rename right in the center and then just name that Noctis XI and the XI have to be in caps and then just click done. And now that that's done, we're just going to respring. And so to respring, we're going to head into the Anemone app right here. And then we're just going to hit preview and then click apply. And that's just going to be a quick way to respring our device. All right, so now that our device is back online, you will immediately notice that the dock is darker and then all the widgets now have a dark mode as well. Same with all of your notifications that you get. These will all have dark mode enabled as well. So the last thing I'm going to do in this video is again enable Symperion. Again, the tweak will be installed the same exact way we just installed Noctis XI. So I'll let you guys handle that on your own and be right back once I install it. All right, so now I have Eclipse X installed. As you can see by the dark theming in the settings app, I have the Noctis XI tweak installed. As you can see by these dark themes on the widgets apps and such like that. And the last one that I was gonna show you is Symperion. And when you click the side button and go back to the lock screen, instead of going to the lock screen, it just shows the time and the rest of the screen is black. And this just looks really awesome. I think it's really nice when your lights are off at night, your phone is not blinding you in the face. It just shows the time and then to get back to the home screen you simply tap your screen to get back anyway you can also click the side button to get back in as well so those two tweaks combined with Eclipse X makes for really nice dark mode on the iPhone 10 the very last thing I wanted to do was to go into my photos app and set a darker photo as my background 
So if I just do this real fast and set a different wallpaper and make it a black wallpaper, something really simplistic, this looks really nice. When it's all combined, it's all dark. And then when you enter apps, nothing is blinding you in the face. So this just looks really sweet. I think everything works well with each other. They all can be used at the same time on the iPhone 10. And just as a sneak peek, a couple tweaks that I wanted to share with you guys is one called Peekaboo. This changes your volume HUD from displaying in the center of the screen to just up in the top left in the status bar. As you can see by pressing down and then pressing up, it changes your volume and it displays it right there. I just think this one looks really nice and looks a lot better than Apple's default volume HUD. Alright, so one last one I wanted to show you guys is in regards to Face ID. Typically when you use Face ID, you'll see this little icon right here go from locked to unlocked and then you'll have to swipe up and unlock your device. Now instead of doing that process, this tweak called Fast Unlock X bypasses the need to actually swipe up on the phone so when your device recognizes your face and it is unlocked, it will automatically enter you into the home screen. Now in that example right there, it took a while for it to unlock. That is just because my camera was getting in the way of it recognizing my face, but it normally is very fast. Lastly, if you're installing multiple tweaks and are consistently finding yourself in a need to easily respring, this tweak called Pull to Respring easily lets you pull down on the settings app and then we'll do a quick respring and that link to this tweak is in the description as well again if you guys want to check out more tweaks don't forget to check out the very end of my last video on how to install tweaks via SSH as at the very end of that video I went into a top 11 tweaks for the iPhone 10 on iOS 11.1.2 using the Electra jailbreak Anyway guys, I hope today's video was pretty awesome and useful to enable dark mode on your iPhone 10 or any iOS device that's running iOS 11 to iOS 11.1.2 using the Electra jailbreak. Let me know down in the comments section what you guys think of this dark mode. Again, right now there are no settings to configure unfortunately within the settings app. Pretty much what you see is what you get as this tweak is still in beta. Hopefully once the final version comes out, it will be when Cydia is updated to run on iOS 11. Maybe then we will see some more settings that we can configure within the settings app. But for now, what you see is what you get. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And until next time, this is Tony signing out.